Uh, we're here today outside the Department for International Trade behind me because um, this is the day in which the latest round of UK-US trade talks are taking place. Not many people know about this and um, these trade talks are held pretty much in secret. We've managed to find out about them today but what's being negotiated in this building could affect pretty much everybody in Britain because in trade talks between the US and the UK we're not just talking about lower tariffs, we're going to be talking about regulations, we're going to be talking about food safety, we're going to be talking about how we regulate chemicals, we're going to be talking about public services like the NHS, we're going to be talking about the famous chlorine washed chickens and all those other issues that people were so concerned about in TTIP, the big deal that we stopped last year between the EU and the US. We fear that behind us these trade talks are going to be resurrecting TTIP uh, but just for Britain and the US and it's absolutely vital that British citizens know about this. The Trade Secretary Liam Fox last week introduced a trade bill into Parliament. At the moment our MPs, our elected representatives have no more right than we do as citizens to know what's going on in the building behind me. We've got a few months to change that. We've got a few months to make sure that MPs write into law that they will have the power to amend, to scrutinise and to stop trade bills if they don't like them. So it's absolutely vital that we take this opportunity to do so. Please write to your MP, go and see your MP, email your MP and tell them they need to support amendments to the Trade Bill to make sure that we get real trade democracy and we do not end up uh, with a TTIP on steroids style deal which is about trading um, not just with the United States um, but in a particular form which threatens our food safety, which threatens our public services and which threatens so much more that people care about in this country.